Okay, so in part two, I'm going to demonstrate another popular and unconventional holster designed for women for on body carry. This one is called the Marilyn Bra Holster. It looks like this. Um, actually, before I show that, here is my Sig P238. You can see that it is clear. That is a safe wall in this range. Um, there is nothing in the chamber, and the mag well is empty. You can see daylight through this. So that is a clear firearm. The holster looks like this. It is, um, I'm not sure if this is Kydex or injection molded. Either way, it's hard plastic. It has a leather bra strap on it, and it also has a different length leather bra strap that comes with it. This would be uh, more appropriate for um, a sports bra. It also has this uh, hook on here that is removable, and that is designed to help uh, orient and keep it stable in the bra. Um, this is leather strap is designed to go underneath the bra here, wrap around the front, and then secure the holster to the bra, actually in this position here. So dropping the slide on the firearm, show you that it sits in here much much like you would see um, a typical outside the waistband or inside the waistband holster. So that part is similar, but where this is mounted is what makes it an unconventional holster. And again, it is mounted over here and uh, inside the bra. So I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to get this thing mounted to my bra and I'll show you what the draw stroke looks like using the Maryland bra holster. All right, so I'm back and I have the Maryland bra holster mounted to my bra. It's right in here. Um, I will go ahead and holster my P238 here again. This is a cleared firearm. You can see nothing in the chamber, nothing in the mag well. Um, holstering this, set that down for a moment, is, uh, again, the bra is on the outside of my tank top for demonstration purposes. Holstering this is very similar to any um, waistband carry in that you just slide it into the holster here. It's a little difficult to reach simply because of the angle, but you just simply press it in and down just like you would uh, if you're carrying in the waistband or outside the waistband. So there's that. Uh, the draw stroke for this when you're wearing a non-button down um, top looks like this. You have to go in the collar, reach down here, and grab the firearm. I'm hooking my three uh, fingers around the butt of the gun, pull up, across, and out here to a two. Uh, there's the draw stroke in slow motion. Uh, what happens as you do that, the holster shifts. It comes out up over here, so um, to remount it and I'll show the draw stroke uh, at a little faster speed. Okay, there's the uh, holster on uh, the correct position there. Again, have it cut out, same cleared firearm. Um, find it easier to uh, pull it away from my body a little bit in order to get that firearm holstered. And then it positions there, like such. That's correct. There. Okay, so there it is. Uh, if I was going to do this faster, it would look like this. And come to a two. And again, it did shift. I think that's just a function of having a, of the particular bra that I'm using and having a, a fairly long strap on it. So that's the Maryland bra holster. Now let's see what it's like to access that under pressure. Um, as with part one, please bear in mind when you're watching the video that it was assumed this was a shoot scenario and the use of OC or a knife for defensive purposes was not considered as part of this comparison. So, okay, so this holster, holster is mounted here. Okay. Same P238 that's been cleared by the guy. Okay. Okay. And we'll see. Oh, oh, God. God. Wait, you see my dog? Okay, no, I don't have to.
By the time Under that gets, fairly mild pressure. Very mild pressure. I mean, I was only running away, and I could feel the whole holster was coming out. They say, you know, hey, you have to mount it this way, do all this, then the other. They come with different size straps and things, but this is the right size strap for this particular bra because they give you different size straps based on the bra that you have. He had his arm right in position to grab, so I didn't want to let go. That's why I kept my hand there. Um, I was so off balance, I couldn't even catch his bicep yeah. to stuff that. And the beauty of it was that's such a classic. He's grabbing your t-shirt and holding you mm -hmm. and doing something with yeah. the other hand. That's not even, that is so common, it's a cliche. Yeah, this wasn't, this wasn't, this came out because he took it out when I let go of it. That's why this came out. It just, it's still so 